Hello chess lovers, Solon here and in today's video I want to share with you an interesting game played between two Argentinian chess players. Juan Torrejo is playing against Mariano Fraschini. This game was played back in 2000 at Argentinian Championship. Torrejo opened up with e4 to which Fraschini answered with c5. The good old Sicilian defense is on the board, classical variation and we have the Kalashnikov Sicilian. A sharp line which is always interesting to see on the board. Knight g7, the main move, c4, knight d4, takes, takes, e takes d5, bishop e7, bishop d3, black castled kingside, white also castled kingside, and f5, black is starting an attack on the kingside, and that's natural because black has a kingside pawn majority and now it's white who is getting two powerful passed pawns on the queen side and yep this is going to be very interesting let's see who is going to be faster the f pawn already reaches the third rank and now black will try to emphasize the weakness of the light squares around white king a4 and rook takes b5 an exchange sacrifice with the help of which black is doubling up the pawns on the b file. Yeah, it's like neutralizing these past pawns, which at some point in near future could get out of control. And then we have queen d7. The absence of the bishop is also allowing black to try to exploit the weaknesses of light squares. King h1, queen h3, although Stockfish suggests queen takes b5, but black keeps on attacking, rook g1 neutralizing the threat. Now look, if you try to switch your rook into the attack with rook f5, now creating this threat, queen h2 threat, then white has g4 move. That's why we first see bishop g4 cementing white's king side and only then the rook will join the attack. Rook a4, rook f5. This is a mistake and after rook a4 actually black is missing an easy victory. Can you guess black's next move? Well, that's easy. Queen g2 is winning on the spot. Black is now a piece ahead and... Yeah, the rook is hanging if here, then check, bishop f6, this pawn will drop and this is going to be an easy victory. Instead, we have rook f5, and now it's white who can win, but white played uh, queen f1 overlooking black's threat and resigned after black's next move. Yes, the winning move is queen h2, something which happened in the game and white resigned. If king takes h2, then check, and then checkmate. But the most interesting part of the game is here. The critical moment is here. Instead of queen f1, there is a line which allows white to win. And that's a complex line, but a jaw-dropping one. And now you will see it. Can you neutralize black's attack? This is one of the most miraculous defenses I have ever seen. Here we go, guys. Rook takes, uh, sorry, uh, rook takes g4 is on the board. This is the move which is allowing white to win. If queen takes g4, then b6. If rook h5, now the threat is rook takes h2 check, then queen f1. Now, in case of check, in the end of the day, you have this queen f3 move. And if bishop d8, yeah, already this pawn wants to step forward, then b7. If bishop c7, then white has another amazing move, and that move is bishop g5. A waiting move, and at the same time white wants to play bishop d8, a deflective move. If you accept the bishop sacrifice with the rook, then just queen b5. And if queen takes g5, then queen c4. White is gaining a precious time to switch his queen into the attack. 
If queen h6, then h4. If here, then queen c8 check. And yeah, this intruder queen is now deciding the outcome of the game. Now the rook is switched into the attack. Also, white is freeing the g1 square for the king. Yeah, there are many already ways of winning the game. This is one of them. Now you can go for an exchange on h6 and win easily. This g2 is not dangerous. You can go for a pawn promotion. And then, oops. Yeah, it's over. Checkmate. Once again, it's a pity that white missed this uh, rook g4 move. And then a brilliant bishop g5 lands and... This is how white can win. Hope that you enjoyed the game. Feel free to share it with your friends as well. And in the end, a chess puzzle. The task is to win with the white pieces. The task is very easy. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in my next video. Take care.